This is a hanging witch in the front yard that has a light, uh, candlescent light right underneath it. It is controlled by the computer, like all the lights are. Uh, light, Lightorama control. There's 16 channels out front, and there's about six inside. She uh, comes on and off, blinks and dims. And we're going to uh, scan to the front of the house where you'll see a lot of. As we come up on the front of the house, look to the right of the front door and you'll see uh, you know, this, uh, transparent window shade things that were real effective this year with the backlighting. The right side's kind of a mummy. You'll see it later on one more time. And the left side's going to show up here right now. It's a big face. It was very effective. A lot of people thought it was three dimensional. Um, the uh, orange lights in the tree, again, were. were what we're uh, just indicating that there was a, a short circuit, that the lights were going out with the lightning. There's the money again. I had uh, light trays in the gutter. Here we see the, the air blaster. And then the, uh, the three small things. Side and we'll see uh, right behind the front step there. There's that. It was very effective, especially when there was uh, fog inside. It uh, gave a blue hue to people as they walked up to the door from the inside. <clears throat> there was also light, uh, lightning flashes inside the house that uh, were a second behind the front of the house to make it look like uh, the lightning was very three-dimensional. Here we see the back of the window with the uh, transparent uh, screen and the two different lights to create different effects. And then we'll scan over to the controller that runs about six channels inside the house. So there's one of those controllers out front that do <clears throat> all 16 lights out front. Uh, at the front door, there were two motion detectors controlling two peekaboo controllers. One did the air blaster, which also had the light effect that hit at the same time. So it was kind of a three sensation uh, with the air, sound, and light. Uh, very effective. Uh, up in the attic, there was a uh, uh, like an air cannon, a sprinkler, a three-quarter inch sprinkler valve, and uh, the uh, the peekaboo controller, and a storage tank up there, and it blasted uh, for two two set a set you know a split second, a couple seconds apart from each other. Um, the other controller did the sound and animatronics on the skeletons. This year, the LEDs in the uh, gutter trays, I took some gutter and put it underneath the uh, bushes and near the front of the house and put uh, blue LED lights, uh, rope light in there, and that was uh, very, very effective uh, in the front, and that was run by on, off of one of the controllers in the front. Um, the the uh, lightning effects were done with compact fluorescent lamps and a uh, homemade waterproof uh, housing I did with a drain pipe and plexiglass and a piece of pressure treated wood. Um, they were a total of about four different lightning circuits which gave a very three-dimensional effect instead of the whole house lighting up at once. Uh, different things were just microseconds apart from each other and gave a three-dimensional effect. Uh, and it was timed well with the sound and the lightning to make some of the lightning appear to be very close and some to be far away, uh, pretty realistic. And then I also had one high uh, floodlight up high in the tree and that kind of lit the whole yard up at that time. The fog machines, there was two of them at the front door on either side that were very effective. Uh, they were run off, of, again, off the Lightorama controller and they make a small hissing sound and I synced those with the thunder so they were pretty much uh, uh, silent as far as you could tell. There were gigantic speakers in the front of the house and was run by a pretty good amplifier so the uh, thunder sound was uh, very very effective and drew people from all over and uh, there was definitely a scare.